stand and give your attention to the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School Raider marching band under the direction of Mrs. Tina Rouse for the playing of our national anthem. Raiders will start the game, returning the kickoff. All right, Somerset, we made it. SEC football action on this breezy Friday night here at the Hanson Memorial Stadium as your Somerset Berkeley Raiders take Back on to their to toughest opponent in the last five Austin years in the conference, the visiting Lakers of Aponiquet. Hello, Ethan everyone. Keegan Hamblett with Darren O'Brien. Tara Peckham standing by. Ready, Somerset fans? Berkeley's getting the ball, and it is a USA theme tonight. And this game between Somerset, Berkeley, and Aponiqua is underway. Will be taken at the 20 yard line by Austin DeSudo, who's gonna run to the outside on the left, gets a block, still pushing forward past the 50 and meeting his fate right on the opponent's side the at the 47 yard line. line. It'll bring out this Somerset, Austin Berkeley DeSudo offense led off by quarterback Somerset Derek Balico. Taking over for last 52, year's quarterback, Junior Owen Meehan. Lucas Tremblay for the Lakers. First and 10 on the Laker 48 yard line for the Raiders. We've been told this year by coach Nick Freitas that this will be a little bit more passing from this Raiders offense than it has been in years prior as we get a whistle. I'm trying to figure out what that is. That must've been just to get the placeholder off the field. First and 10 for Somerset Berkeley at the Aponiquit 48 yard line. Balico will toss it back to Sam Grew and we get a flag. This might be some motion behind against Somerset Berkeley. And no, it's going against Aponiquit. Getting offside. He'll bump him up a couple yards. First and five. On the Laker, 43. And Balico is going to toss it back, and he's not going to get anything on that. No gain. That was Ethan Santos on the pitch back play. We'll bring up Kevin second down and about five. The Lakers and a couple other Lakers. Second and five. Last time Somerset Berkeley beat a Poniquit 
you have to go back to 2019 in the stadium. An amazing game once Somerset Berkeley stopped turning the ball over, ended up with a 35-14 victory. Since then, three straight wins by the Lakers. If you want to go back to last year, when that was at Aponiqua at the Griffith Field, just an absolute nightmare for the Raiders. 20-0 win for the Lakers. Another pitch back play to Ethan Santos, who got a block. Santos down the sideline, 20, 10, five, touchdown, touchdown, Somerset Berkeley, one Number minute eight. in. Ethan Santos. 43 yards scamper down the right side. And that's side. the start Somerset Berkeley wanted early on. Also got a boost from that with that starting field position. And Somerset Berkeley will decide the to go for the kick, extra point the with Dos kicker Santos. Kevin Dos Santos. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, and right through and the uprights. 7-0 Somerset so Berkeley, Berkeley, 59 seconds into the game. And Aponiqua will be getting the ball in Aponiqua just a Lakers second. Zero. This Aponiqua team, 1-3 on the year. Right now, winless on the road. The last game was a loss at Dartmouth, 36-20 last week. But the big loss for them was losing their multi-purpose player, Jackson Gagnier, also a member of the Aponiqua basketball team. Somerset Berkeley this year, 3-1, and one, unbeaten at home, 2-0. and oh. And they got one of those home wins last Friday against DR. That was 36-7. to seven. Again, Somerset Berkeley this year switching to Derek Balico at QB. For the Aponiquit side, we're expected to see Caden Sear, senior quarterback, who wears number seven for Aponiquit. Kevin DeSantos will kick it off. He's ready and here's the kick. That is a good boot to about the 10 yard line. It's gonna take a bounce, they gotta pick it up. And he is not going to get anything on that. Taken down right at about Number the 12 six, yard line. Austin DeSudo. Austin DeSudo on that tackle. He'll bring out this Lakers offense. Monica will start off. Again, led by quarterback Caden Sear. Senior at Aponiqua, 6'2, 165. Also plays defensive back. Lakers led by coach Zane Fife. His assistants Andy Amaral, Josh Parcaccini, Nate Farrington. Jack Smith and Mike Redlin. Here's the first play for Aponiquid at the 14 yard line. Sear takes a snap and he's gonna keep it himself. Broke through one Number tackle, it gets about two yards Kevin after the fact. We'll bring up second and eight. Finn Bjork with the tackle. Gain of about two, second and eight for the Lakers. Second and eight from the 16 yard line. Just about two minutes in. Somerset Berkeley off and running already on a touchdown by Ethan Santos. As that's a good run to the outside by Dylan Bradley, who will pick up an opponent first, first down. Carried by number 28, Dylan Bradley. Knocked out of bounds by Dylan Bradley, another senior on this opponent side. One of several on the side, actually. Going to have, First down for the at Lakers. the end of the year, nine seniors for the First Lakers getting honored on their senior night. <laughs> 
Sear takes a snap and he'll pitch it back again. And he's and gonna no lose about to four go. yards on that. Again, Finn Bjork on that tackle. Finn Bjork making the tackle. That was Brody also Jolie on it. In. Loss of four, second and 14 for the Lakers. Second down play for Sear. He'll hand it off this time again to Jolie. Number 19 Jolie with the able to get that lost yardage back. Brody but Jolly. it is going to bring up a long third down. Gain of about three, third and 11. DeSudo in on that tackle for the Raiders. Here comes third down and 10. Sear drops, might have gone away with a false start. Sear over the middle, it is caught Passes by Colin Sear, and that is enough six. for a first down. Colin Sear, taken down by number eight, Ethan Santos. Lakers get a first down. They're on their own 47, first and 10. First and 10 on Aponiquit's own 47. Sierra again drops back over the middle to Colin Sierra again, meeting his fate just number past six, the 50 Colin yard line. Sierra. Taken down by number eight, Ethan Santos. Tackle on that play made by Ethan Gain Santos. Seven, second and three. Ethan Santos, one of the several seniors on the Somerset Berkeley side. We saw an offense, plays as a running back. And it's gonna be second and about three to go. And Sear will keep it. He's got enough for the first down and to the 40 like yard the line. First down by the lake is carried by number seven, Caden Sear. Notice right away in the opening few minutes, Caden Sear loves to run that QB draw play. Also has a really good arm as we've seen those throws to Colin Sear a couple times. First and 10, Colin Sear lined up all the way to the left. Tabor Lawler all the way to the right. High snap, it'll be a handoff to Jolie. Jolie pushing forward to the 20, and he is loose for an Aponiquit and touchdown. A touchdown for the Lakers, number 19, 39 yards. Brody Jolly. Now it looks like the offense is staying out there. They might go for two on this. Try to give the Lakers the lead. Quick substitution in for Somerset Berkeley. Flynn Price in. And Caleb Soares out. going to go for this. Sierra's got Jolie lined up behind him. And that's where he goes. Jolie up the middle and he is stopped short by about one yard. It and Somerset no Berkeley will hold on to the lead. By the seven to defense. six with 6.26 to go in the first quarter. So with 6.26 to go in the first quarter, Somerset Berkeley Raiders seven. Honiquit Lakers six. 
Also, keep reminded that the Somerset Berkeley Boosters will be coming around with a 50-50 raffle in the stands tonight to support the girls' soccer team. Prices are one ticket for three dollars, three tickets for five, and five for seven. The lucky winner will be announced early in the third quarter. So get your tickets, people. And Coach Santos right now, right now, not too happy on that Somerset Berkeley sideline. Saying, I think from up here, just saying to communicate better. Because right now we've seen two long touchdowns. First one. 43 yards and then the next one 39 yards as the fans keep pouring in again an America theme tonight for the Somerset Berkeley student section where I'd say close to 200 250 students have made their way over to the left side of us back to receive the kickoff the pseudo and Santos for the, for the Raiders here comes the kickoff from Lucas Tremblay, the Aponiquit Jr. And that is a good boot. Fielded at the 18-yard line. And here comes DeSudo to the outside. And no, that was actually Ethan Santos. That's my bad. A and a penalty play. flag Great comes in Santos. right at about the 30-yard line. Like he's got to about the rate of 43. There is a flag on the play. We'll see if this one's coming back. And yep, it is it against Somerset Raiders. Berkeley. And it's going to be a block in the back. And we mentioned last year, it was one year ago tomorrow that Aponiqua won 20 to nothing at home against Somerset. If you want to go back to two years ago, two, two years time from two days tomorrow, then you have to go to that amazing ending where Aponiqua got that go-ahead score and Somerset Berkeley had a chance and just couldn't convert on it and that one it's a Jamie run play Goose that has stopped count. short. No gain. Maybe lost one on that. Number one, Sean Lundrigan for the tackle for the Lakers. Second and ten for the Raiders. We're now second down and 11. We haven't seen a big ball yet from Derek Balico again. We said we've expected a couple more deeper passing plays. And this one would be pitched back to Sam Grew. And he lost the ball. And Aponiquit saying they picked it up, and they did. The referee and on the far side Lincoln says Aponiquit ball. ball. And you got Kevin DeSanto saying that he was down. But I don't know if you're going to be able to reverse this decision, and Aponica will take over at right at about the 25-yard line. Sears got Elijah Barlow to left and said so we'll hand it off instead. And he'll get no maybe two yards forward. But tackled down Dylan Bradley was Dylan Lakers. Bradley. Taken down by 22 Finn Bjork. And they'll make a quick sub change and Brody Jolie will come in. Chant of let's go defense coming from the Somerset Berkeley student section. They have gotten that whole student section filled tonight. Great turnout. Able to escape potential rain tonight, but it is on the way. Second down and nine. Sear takes another high snap. We'll hand it off this time to Brody Jolie. Not getting anywhere again. No game. Lead tackler in front. 
Number 24, Aaron Pyers. I believe Aaron Pyers, yes it is. Tackle. Gain of about one, third and eight. Third down, eight yards to go from the 22. Sear drops back, getting pressured. He'll escape, and he'll be tackled short. And now if you're a Pontico, what do you do? You have fourth and about two and a half, three to go. Do you go 36-yard field goal, or do you go for it? Fourth and, fourth and four. We'll go fourth down. This crowd's about to get loud in a second. And again, loud on the right side. Sear, pressured, has to throw short. It's caught by Jolie, and it'll be pushed and out of bounds short no of the first down line. The Raiders will take over at the 20. Again, another big stop by the Somerset Berkeley defense. First time on that two-point conversion. And now a fourth down stoppage. And the Raider offense will come back onto the, the field. <laughs> Got Gru and McKinnon lined up behind Balico. Also have Ethan Santos off to the left. He'll be the motion man and he'll take the snap. Santos breaks free again. Got a block down low. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown Raiders. Ethan Santos again, 80 yards. Ethan Santos. Caven DeSantos will come back out for the extra point try. And they're calling to get another man on the field. It's Hutchings Mosley who's running out. Caven DeSantos one for one on extra point so far. A high snap, that one is and up. Is and it was good. very close to that left upright, but it is up so and good. And Somerset Berkeley goes up 14 to six with 3.07 to go in the first quarter. Pontiquet Lakers six. Again, the boosters will be coming around 50-50 raffle. Please help support our girls, soccer. And if you're watching this game on our Blue Raider studios, we do thank you. Keegan Hamblet alongside Tara Peckham, Darren O'Brien. Switching up camera duties today. Again, we also got this game airing on our Somerset Access television channel. As the Raiders line up to kick it off again, led by Kevin Dos Santos. And that one will be a short kick off to the right side, bounce and handled at the 11 yard line. And we'll pick up 10 yards on the return. But slam down is down Elijah Barlow. I believe Owen Andrade was the lead tackler and on that stop. In on that tackle. And they're going to say DeSudo McKinnon will get the tackle. Caden Sear comes back onto the field. Lakers and Aponica will, will try to match that recent Somerset Berkeley score. Line. First and 10 for the Lakers.
First play for Aponiquit at the 23. Handoff play, I believe that was to Jolie. And again, not getting anywhere. No gain to the Lakers. Second and 10. Number 71, Hayden Teasdale, with that tackle for the Raiders. And a second down, Sear. Again, taking a lot of those snaps pretty high up. And they'll tackle get about two yards. We'll bring Raiders, up third and eight. Of about two for the Lakers. This opponent, what side we mentioned at the beginning of the year. As you can see, right on the, the sideline, not a lot of depth for them to go Karen. through. But they have managed to beat eight. Somerset Berkeley in every matchup since 2019, that 35-14 win here at Hanson Memorial Stadium. Third down, eight to go. The Aponiquit fans to the right of us trying to help their team out. Pitch back play and a good hit as Jolie was trying to run to Teasdale the outside. On that tackle. Hayden Teasdale, lead tackler. And DeSuto. Bring a fourth and five. Fourth down for the Lakers. And I think this is gonna bring out the punting unit. Did a couple guys switch? I don't know. Are they keeping it out? <laughs> yeah. Santos Ken Wisniewski the all the way behind. Wisniewski takes a bounce, and it's nearly blocked by three Raiders. Nearly getting it. Santos will let it bounce, which is going back. Still rolling. The wind helping that out a little bit to the edge of the 18 that they use this field for, for soccer, which is the 13 the yard line. The Lakers as the Raiders take over in their own deep territory. Do the math, that's a 57 yard punt right there from Ken Wisniewski. Good clip to put on film if you're the Lakers coaching staff. And Santos late again running onto the field. Already has two touchdowns combined, 123 yards. Absolutely amazing what we're seeing here just in the first quarter from him in this Raider offense. 14 to six, Somerset Berkeley, 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. Might be the last play unless Freitas wants to try to get a second one. Grew up the middle. Carried by and two. we'll maybe get a yard or two. Yard or so. Running that left hash mark. Number one, Sean Landrigan, leading the tackle for the Lakers. Second and eight. Galico runs back over to the huddle with 20 seconds to go. And the chant of Raider coming from the student section. They spell it out one letter at a time. Balico back, Santos. Gets to the 22-yard line, and that will be the end of the first quarter. Two touchdowns from Ethan Santos is the difference so far. The Raiders lead 14 to six at the end of one. We'll switch sides, and we'll be right back for the second quarter coverage. Poniquet Lakers six. Again, a reminder: our Somerset Berkeley Boosters is having a 50-50 raffle. They'll be coming around tonight to help support the Somerset Berkeley girls soccer team. Purchase those tickets. The lucky winner will be announced early in the third quarter.
back for the start of the second quarter here at the Hanson Memorial Stadium on the campus of Somerset Berkeley Regional High School with the Raiders leading 14 to 6. As we switch sides, Somerset Berkeley going right to left as Ethan Santos takes the third down play. And we'll maybe Ethan lose Santos. one. It'll bring up fourth no down and six. And here comes the punting Tackle unit. By a host of Lakers. Number 50, Kevin O'Connor. O'Connor leading the attack for them. Here comes the punt from Somerset Berkeley. Low snap, barely getting it away. And that one will take a favorable bounce for the Raiders. Right out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. And Aponiquit will take over. And the Lakers will take over on their own 43 yard line. First and 10. Let's go boys. We have a flag. And what is the flag behind the play? It's on the Raiders. And I think they're going to make them redo the punt. Probably try to get better field position. And again, Back to return that bounce, the punt for the Lakers. That ball took a favorable seven, bounce. Again, unhappy Freitas on the sideline right now yelling at one of his players. That's why they did that switch late. And we'll do this punt again from the end zone. Again, didn't get all of it. We'll take a bounce at the Somerset Berkeley 40 and we'll roll and to the 48 yard line. So exactly take over at their own five yards yard better. First and, ten. and that was because of that five yard penalty. The same distance on that punt. Again, Caden Sear will try to lead this Aponiquit side right back down the field. First play from the 48. Somerset Berkeley going man, handoff. Jolie breaking free, first down. That's a 40, he fumbled the ball, and Somerset Berkeley recovered. Aaron Pyers in the midst of it, and the Raiders will take over. By number 24, Aaron Pyers. Balico will come right back out. Again, Derek Balico stepping in, replacing Owen Meehan as the senior quarterback. Balico has worked hard to earn this position, played football for many years, and fake the hands off, fan, fake the handoff, pitching it back. Jimmy Phoenix First tackled down, out the 40, 20 yard pickup. James Phoenix. Taken down by number 58, Aaron Puccini. Raiders first and 10 at the Laker 41. Everybody's within three yards. Balico back. And again, another run maybe goes Sam for one Groove with Sam Groom. About a yard. 
bring up second and nine. Sam Grew. Second and nine for the Raiders. But you could argue maybe the running back number four last year, but did get a lot of touches with that football for the Raider offense. And they will be relying on him a good amount this year. Again, one of the many seniors for him. Not the biggest guy out there, 5'8", 170. But still can pick up a big play when you need it. And really, that's all that matters. And we get a timeout called and by Somerset Berkeley and Coach Nick Freitas with 9.15 to go in the second quarter. Again, the history between Aponiqua and Somerset Berkeley. Aponiqua's won four of the last five, including the last three, with a combined score of 77 to 27. Two of those games being here in Somerset. And one of them was during that COVID shortened year. When it was here at Hanson Memorial Stadium and the Lakers won 28 to nothing, just an absolute thumping on the Raiders. And the last time these two teams were at home, Aparnaquay won 29-27. Late score for the Lakers sealed that win. And Somerset Berkeley had a chance late, just dropped a wide open pass in that matchup and couldn't answer to that late score. And then last year, 2022, one year ago tomorrow, Aparnaquay won at Griffith Field 20 to nothing. And that's really just been the story of this matchup. Just the offense not being able to get anything going. But right now, especially by Ethan Santos, this offense right now is rolling. And they got the ball at the opponent 40 on second down and nine. But we're going to get a flag. flag and it's against the pawn equip for an offside. Second down. Uh, and you get the down marker says third down on the far side, but it's not going to matter. They pick up the first. Rue with the carry. And it is a first down Raider. to Santos. Santos up the middle. Maybe gets about Santos three yards. We'll bring up second and seven. Gain of about three. Tackled by number seven for the Lakers, Caden Sear. And 17, Evan Dupris. Here's second down, 8-10 to go. Right, right, right. Balico drops back, looking over the middle, and caught! Touchdown, to Somerset Berkeley! Ben B. York. Ben B. York on the touchdown. Yard play from Balico to Bjork. And Dos Santos back out for the extra point. And it is up. And of course, it's good. Three for three on extra points. Three touchdowns for Somerset Berkeley. 21 to six with eight minutes to go.
Dos Santos ready, boots it away. Great kick by Dos Santos, and it's gonna bounce into the end zone. And Lakers will be taken over at their own 20 yard line, first and 10. First down, 10 to go at the 20 yard line on the Aponiquit side. Sear looking to the left, launching a deep ball wide open for the catches. Colin Sear, he is gone. 80 yard Aponiquit touchdown right touchdown out of the gate. To number six, Colin Sear for the Lakers. The Raiders just absolutely blowing coverage on that left side. And you got everybody looking around saying, whose guy was that supposed to be? We'll see what they do now. This would be an interesting decision. If you go for two, decide not to do it, but you get it the second time, you're still gonna be down one. You go for one, making an eight point game, one possession. And the offense stays out. Caden Sear, big two-point conversion coming, throwing to the left side, and I thought it was caught. What's the signal? He's in. Seven-point game, 21-14. to 14. All right, with 7.46 to go, Somerset Berkeley 21, Aponiquit Lakers 14. That drive took 13 seconds for Aponiquit to get that touchdown, and right after that, it's back to game on. And Lucas Tremblay out for the kickoff. And everybody's ready. Tremblay with the kick. Booted on the left side. Taken by the Raiders on the right at the 20. And DeSudo still going. DeSudo might be gone, but here comes a flag. DeSudo still going. And he's gonna take it all the way, but there's a flag back, so hold on a second. Touchdown. Everybody on the student Number section six, thinks it's a Austin touchdown, but I think this one's coming back. And I think the signal was on number 44. That would be Liam Meehan, the sophomore. So wipe that return touchdown off the board for Austin DeSudo. And the Raiders are gonna have to start their offense all the way back at the 26. First and 10 for the Raiders on their own 25 yard line.
Balico back to Gru. Gru maybe getting one on that, but then he's pushed back behind the line of scrimmage. I'll tell you right now, no head coach right now. If you're Nick Freitas or Zane Fife, nobody's happy right now. Lundergan with the tackle for the Lakers. You know what, if you got both defenses, I know there was a flag on that last one, but if you got both defenses giving up long plays, you got a right to be cranky. Second and nine. At the 26, Balico takes the handoff, meeting a state again at the 25. Great. It's going to bring up third and 10. Number 50, Kevin O'Connor. The Lakers leading the tackle with a few others. Third and ten, you got Brendan McDonald lined up all the way on the right side with Caden Sear on him. Balico rolling right, throws in, it is dropped, Incomplete. nearly intercepted. Incomplete to number eight. Intended Ethan target Santos. there was Ethan Santos, and that'll bring up fourth down. And back comes the punting unit. Here comes the punt, and it's a good one away from Ethan Santos. We'll take a bounce to favor our pawn equip, and it will be handled by Somerset Berkeley at the 46-yard line. Lakers will take over at their own 40, uh, no, the rate of 45-yard line. We will have 544, try to get an answer back. They're looking for a touchdown and that two-point conversion, which would give them the lead. Sear, high snap. Sear, scrambling. Sear, taken down at the 50. Leader in there was Colin Lyons. Sacked by number 65, Hutchin Mosley. And they're going to say Hutchins Mosley was in there too. Loss I thought of six. it was Colin Lyons. Everybody's going to be credited with half a sack. Second down and 15 from the 49 yard line. Sear again looking to pass. Sear over the middle. It is caught Passes by Colin Sear. And he'll pick Colin up about nine Sear. yards on that. Number nine with the tackle, Caleb Soares. Third and six for the Lakers. Now, big one. 42 yard line. Six yards to go for Sear and the Lakers offense. Two guys out to the right, one out to the left. Sear scrambling, and he handed it off, yeah, I think, no to gain. Jolie, and no gain on the play. And the tackle there was made by Hayden Teasdale.
And a time I will be called by a pawn equip. He'll rethink this decision over with 328 to go in the second quarter. Timeout Lakers. Pawnequit's next game, they'll be back home next right, Friday to take on Dighton Rehoboth. That'll be a 6.30 kickoff for Somerset Berkeley. Next game, back on the road against Greater New Bedford Vote, 6.30 p.m. Division II State Tourney. Great job. We got an applause coming as one of the Somerset Berkeley teams has officially made the state tournament. So big congrats to them. The offense is lined up as if they're going to go for this. Fourth down and six. Sear rolling right, launching in the corner, and it is caught. Sean Lundrigan picking up the first down. Or was, that, down was that Ryan Pont? That might have been Ryan Pont. It's tough to see right over that Somerset Berkeley sideline. Thirty-one yards to go for a Pawnequit to get that touchdown. They could either bring them within one tie of the game or take the lead. Sear looking right, and incomplete. it is incomplete. And no flag on that as by Evan Dufres wanted Will it. Will Santos. Will Santos on the coverage. Second down and ten. Second and ten. Ponequit's got to hurry. Somerset Berkeley had to be alert too. Sia rolling left this time. Watch out, Bjork's coming right at him. He gets it away. It is caught Complete by Dupris seven, this time. Me, 17, Evan Dupris. Ethan Santos with the tackle for the Raiders. And it is going to be just short of that first down by maybe two or Third three yards. About two. Go, boys. Sear hands it off, Jolie, and he has first enough for a first down. And taken down by a host and of Randall. And he makes his way to the 16-yard line. Good seven-yard pickup there for the junior fullback. First down for the Lakers. Let's go, boys. Got to be stout here. First down, 16 to go. Bradley is lined up to the side of Sear. Sear will again roll right. Somebody missed the block. Sear has to scramble just to get rid of it. Incomplete. And DeSudo was applying that pressure. Yeah. 
Second down, 10, Sear, open pocket, throws, and dropped and by Dylan Bradley. Dropped. Incomplete. Third and ten. Sear looking left. Now goes over the middle. And incomplete. Deflected up by Colin Sear and it falls incomplete. Attempted the number six, Colin And it goes Sear. to fourth down and ten. Fourth down for the Lakers. for it. This might end up being the most important play of this first half. Sear over the middle. Great catch made, but a flag is down. So hold on, he's trying to extend over the goal line and he's gonna be about one yard short, but a flag was thrown in the back, so let's see who this is, is on. Caught. First down for the Lakers. There is a flag on the play. And you got Bjork saying it's a hold against the Pontiquet. And it is. And it is against the Lakers. Back this up. Is it 10 yards? You're gonna go fourth and 20. Now referee coming over to talk to Raiders head coach Nick Freitas. Now here we go, fourth and 20. Right, Ball lined up at the 26. Here. here come the fans. A little louder. Fourth down and 20. Sear fakes it, going deep for the end zone, and it is batted down and, and intercepted. Intercepted by number eight, Ethan Santo. It was an interesting decision for the Raiders to intercept that. Could have let it, maybe batting it down and taking over at the 26. And instead, they are going to take over at the 20. And the Raiders still have a minute 13. Try to add another touchdown. Again, Somerset Berkeley started out with the ball, so Aponiqua is going to get the second half kickoff. Push forward by the Raiders, good enough for six yards. And they go in no huddle. Carried by Phoenix. A second down and about five. Balico pitching it back. This is Gru running up the middle. Down, He's got Raiders. enough for a first down. And here comes the Same timeout route. call from Somerset Berkeley with 50 to go on the clock.
Gain of a couple. Timeout. And we Raiders. got is that an injured Laker on the field. Uh, he's up. He's all good. That was Lucas Tremblay. He was down for a second. Second down and seven for the Raiders at the 35-yard line. 33 seconds to go. Balico dropping back, rolling right. Balico will take it himself and will run out of bounds after about a five-yard pickup and a flag gets thrown on the play. And that should be for a late hit against the Poniquit. And even better for Somerset Berkeley, even though Balico stepped out, a flag will stop the clock. And it is against the Poniquit, and it will be an automatic first down. Forty-five yards to go. You can also go to Kevin Dos Santos for a kicker. You have very strong kicking leg. Balico dropping back again. Wants the deep ball. There it is to Grew. Touchdown. And it is a 45 yards, Balico to Groove. Santos right back out there for the extra point. Austin DeSudo is the holder. Ball is down, kick and is up, and it is, is good. good again. Four for so four for Kevin DeSantos on an extra point. And Somerset 14. Berkeley doubles their lead right before the end of the first half. Again, the Berkeley Boosters, they're having a 50-50 raffle. They will be coming around. It helps support the Somerset Berkeley girls soccer team. So they will be coming around. Also, the lucky winner will be announced early in the third quarter. So now you got a Poniquit on their side with 18 seconds left, one timeout. Do you maybe try to go for what they call the old Carson Palmer rule, get one touchdown, get the ball back to start the second half? Or you just take a knee, think things over? I'm going to the locker room down by 14. And Cadence here, he does have a big arm, so maybe get 25 yards, take a timeout, then go for the long ball Hail Mary play, just a thought. But to Santos to kick it off. Number 18 kicking with 18 seconds. And it'll be a high kick. Takes a bounce off the 20, bobbled. But Bradley's got it. Bradley still going to the 27 yard line. Clock will stop with 12 and seconds Kyle to go. Now tackle. decision time. You do one throw, maybe take a timeout, then go Hail Mary. Let's see what they Along do. With Zach King.
And Sierra will just take the knee, and that is going to be the end of the first half. Well, lots of touchdowns all around. Lots yeah, of touchdowns. Somerset Berkeley leading 28 to 14 at halftime. Aponiqua will get the ball to start the second half. And we'll be right back for our second half coverage on Somerset Access TV and our Blue Raider Studios in just a minute. Start of the second half here at the Hanson Memorial Stadium with Somerset Berkeley leading Aponiqua 28 to 14 as we head into the third quarter. I'm Keegan Hambler on commentary alongside Tara Peckham, Darren O'Brien on camera and producing for our Blue Raider Studios and Somerset Access Television. Great night, however, during that halftime, it did start to drizzle a little bit, so something that we will have to keep an eye on as the game continues. But everybody's having a great time so much, so I had a chance to talk to some of the fans behind us. <laughs> and everybody's having a great time. Again, Somerset Berkeley in blue, a Pawnequit in white. Again, the theme here tonight is USA slash America theme. We've got flags going around, some hats being worn, some, see a light up hat looks like over there in the student section. But so far this game, if you like offense, and this has been the number one game you'd want to attend. Four touchdowns for Somerset Berkeley and four successful extra points. Aponiquit, two touchdowns, one converted two-point conversion, and one failed two-point conversion. Kevin DeSantos back out there for the second half kickoff for Somerset Berkeley. And you got Barlow and Jolie back to receive for Aponiquit. Yes, the second half of today's SCC matchup is as soon as he kicks this off. Here we go, now it's underway. And it's going to be a short kick this time. And aponiquit has got to pick it up. And they do, and they get forward to the 31-yard line with Dylan Lakers Bradley. And here comes Caden Sear and the Laker offense back out onto the field. Sear so far having a decent game, only that one interception, which was on that fourth down in the end zone that Ethan Santos was able to get. And we question whether or not that would be the right decision because if he just bats it down, then they'll have it at the 26. They took it at the 20, went 80 yards down the field, including that Balakota Grew touchdown strike. Sear will take it himself this time, and he'll get about four Down yards, maybe five on that. Sear. I'll bring up second down. Gain of five. Second and five. Again, Somerset Berkeley's next game will be on the road against Greater New Bedford Volk. That will be next Friday at 6.30 p.m. Zach King in on that. Somerset trying to remain undefeated at home and trying to keep a Pawnequit winless on the road. 0-2 on the road are the Lakers, and 2-0 at home are the Raiders. Second and five, high snap. Sierra able to handle it and handing it off to Brody Jolie who gets to midfield to the 50-yard line. Brody and he gets a good 14-yard pickup. And Aponiquit already a minute in, starting to put the pressure on the Somerset Berkeley defense. Again, don't let this Aponiquit side get going because although they don't have the depth, they will wear you out on offense especially. First down, 10 to go, right at midfield. Sear rolling right. He's going to get pressure by Bjork. Sear looking down the field, and it is too far. Ryan Pond might have had a touch on it, but it will bring up second down. Second and 10 for the Lakers at the 50-yard line. Second down and 10, student section for Somerset Berkeley starting to make a little noise. Sear looks left, it's caught. 
And Colin Sear will get about a four yard gain. We'll bring up third and six. Colin Sear with the reception. Third and five. Two wide out right, one on the left. Sear is going to hand it off to Jolie instead. Jolie met by three Raiders after about a two yard gain. Leaders in there are DeSudo, Lions, and Pyres. As well as 24, Aaron Pyres. <laughs> Fourth and three for the Lakers. Julius the running back. Fourth and three, same formation. Sear had a low snap. Sear looking. Sear gets taken, taken down. down It'll be a turnover on Bill downs. Ben Bjork with the sack. And the Raiders will take over at the 48 yard line. First and 10 for the Raider on their own 49-yard line. Alico back in, gets the motion for Ethan Santos. That's where he goes. Santos trying to get to the outside. Will nearly make it back to the line carry. of scrimmage. And no gain. Tackle by Is there a flag on the field? Caden Sear for the Lakers. Is a flag on the play. That's going to be a hold against Somerset Berkeley. Be interesting to see if they'll decline it. It'll be second and maybe 11. Or you accept it, make them redo and the first down. The and they'll accept it. It's going to be first and 20 instead. Balico gets the motion again, and he will go to Sam Grew, and he'll lose another yard. Dylan Bradley for the Lakers. Loss of about one. Second down and about 21 to go. Balico pitching it back to Santos. Ethan Santos not getting anything again. Met by a few Lakers, Kevin O'Connor and Aaron Procaccini were in there. They'll bring up a really long third down. down. This might be just a play to get a few yards. Instead, Balico, wide open space, lofting it up. Beautiful thrown ball to and Ethan first Santos. Down. First down Good for Somerset eight. Berkeley. Ethan Santos. Pressure there was from Evan Dupris, but it's not enough. There's a flag on the play. 24 yard pickup, but a flag is in the backfield right at about the 39 yard line. <clears throat>
And it's on a Parnaquit, and they'll decline it for the first down. First and 10 for the Raiders at the Laker 36. First down and 10 at the 36. McKinnon grew and Santos back. It's going to go to Santos. And Santos we'll get stuffed by three one. Laker players after a gain of one. Jackson Moore leading the tackle for the <laughs> Lakers. Six and a half minutes to go in the third quarter of today's game. Again, Somerset Berkeley leading a Parnaquit 28 to 14. Second down play. Balico again rolling right. Had McKinnon who got taken down. But we'll keep it himself and we'll get a couple of yards. Maybe about five. Gain of about six. And I think we have an injured Laker player down. He's on the Aponiquit sideline now. And they get the okay to go. Third down and about four. Again, same three back, Grew, McKinnon, and Santos. And they'll go to Grew this time. Grew up the middle. Carried by Sammy Grew. And it is very close to that first down. He might be a Number yard short. 28, Dylan Bradley. <clears throat> Fourth and two for the Raiders. Big fourth down, especially for the Aponiquit side. Balico will keep it himself. And the second push might have gotten in there. Oh, Balico broke free. Touchdown, Somerset Berkeley. What is going on for Aponiquit Touchdown. right in the middle of the line? Derek Balico. How in the world did Balico escape from that? Balico. It's going to go down as a 27 yard. QB rushing touchdown for Derek Balico. And the Raiders at the moment will go up 34 to 14. DeSantos again on the extra point. And it's up and good again. So with 35 14, Somerset Berkeley. Somerset Berkeley. After that, Balico running touchdown. All right, we have our 50-50 raffle. And here so comes the big announcement win, of the night. Please report to the concession stand with your ticket number 518568. Again, number 518568. The winning is $127. Thank you. Last time, number 518568. Five oh four left to go in the third. Q 
here during that break the marching band playing. Give a shout out to them, the Somerset, Berkeley, and Aponiquit regional cheer teams, as well. Special shout out to the Somerset Middle School cheer team, also here part of that halftime performance. Five, one, eight, five, six, eight. And I don't know if they found a winner yet of that raffle going on. Heard that prize was over 120 bucks tonight. I don't think I won. I could have used some of that money. But it's all good. That is a line drive kick. And you had two Laker players maybe fooling it. And they are free again to the... Oh, to the, he got past the 50. And he is going to take it all the way for a touchdown. Dylan Bradley. And the Lakers are right back in it again. And that maybe makes up for that failed fourth down stoppage. Last guy back that could have had that tackle was Jimmy Phoenix. Just couldn't get there. And they will go for two again. One for two so far on the night. Sierra wants to take it himself. Sierra makes a juke around Finn Bjork and he is in for the successful two point conversion which will make it a 13 point game. So 4.51 to go in the third quarter. Somerset Berkeley 35. Monica Lakers 22. Lucas Tremblay ready to kick this off for Aponiquit. Pesuto and Santos are back. Here comes the kick from Tremblay. Again, another line drive kick, which Desudo handles very easily. Makes a couple of moves, and Desudo nearly broke free again. And Somerset Berkeley. And we have seen a lot of long touchdowns line. tonight. That one, he'll get to the 40 Tackle yard line. line. Number nine, Peter Rubini. You know, we mentioned a lot about this offense. We don't give enough credit to the Somerset Berkeley line. Nate Magnell, Nate Poirier, Hayden Teasdale, Gavin Parker, as well as center Jackson Aguiar. But credit to them. We don't forget about you guys. Balico to Gru. Gru trying to get up the middle, Carrie maybe gets a Gru. yard or two. Gain of about one. Caden Sear and Kevin O'Connor tackle for the Lakers. Second and nine. Second down and eight. Santos in motion again. Balico will roll. Oh, he had Gru. Now he has Bjork. He's looking for Bjork. He's got Bjork. And he breaks the tackle. Touchdown, Somerset Berkeley. Touchdown, 58 yards. Once Bjork. again, Balico to Bjork.
And it looks like this time Somerset Berkeley will go for two. This would be crucial for them. It would put them up by 21. Balico rolls right again. Balico likes that right side. Makes a move and that squeezes in. Are you kidding me, Derek Balico? What a game. Derek Balico. Two point conversion. With 3.55 to go in the third quarter. Somerset Berkeley 43. Bonnequet Lake is 22. Three fifty-five to go in the third. Again, most of the fans have stayed. Lots of families here supporting the team tonight. Santos and the Raiders are ready. Here comes the kick, and he'll kick it to his right. Fielded cleanly at the 18, and that's Jolly pushing forward to the 41. Zach King with that tackle, and also number five, Austin Andre. Owen Andre, I apologize. Lakers take over on their own 41 yard line. First down at the 41. And somebody's got to block that left side for Sear. Sear holding. Sear. Looking, Sear, motioning to go downfield. He has a man if he gets it in, he's got it. Ryan Pont, hard over Caleb Soares. Caleb and that Soares is a the big pickup there for the Lakers, 34 yards for a first down. There we go, first down. Jolie lined up right behind to the left, and he'll take the handoff from Sear. Jolie inside the 15 to the 10, but here comes a flag. And I thought this might have been a hold against Wisniewski. Let's see. And it is against the Lakers. After that really good pickup, now you gotta back up. It'll be first in 15 at the Somerset Berkeley 30 yard line. See ya. Hand off to Jolie again. Jolie picks up about four. Jolie, gain of a couple. DeSudo and McKinnon in the tackle. Now he gets a dance down low. 
try to make some noise, help out this defense on the right side. As Sear looking left, got hit as he threw. Oh, what a catch made by Ryan Part. Touchdown. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, that's the catch of the year. Ryan Paul with the one-hander falling back on the outside. And again, Aponiqua right back in it. Here we go, another two-point conversion opportunity. Sierra, is he gonna take it himself? I think he's gonna throw it. I think he's gotta go to the right. I think he's got a two-point conversion. Catch made by Tabor Lawler. Caught by number 12, Tabor Lawler. So with a minute 54 to go in the third quarter, Somerset Berkeley 43, Aponica Lakers 30. And we get more people walking, making noise along the bleachers. Sounds like one of two things. Either you want to be in the high school marching band doing the drills one day, or you're going to Mass Maritime for that two week program, and you got to learn the steps or how you do it. Lucas Tremblay again ready to kick it off. Tremblay, he's not kicking off, also helps on the line. Both sides for Aponiqua. The junior on the Lakers side. Here's the kick. I didn't get all of it again. Santos at the 20, makes a move. Santos will get and pushed Santos. out by three Lakers leading hit there. Evan Dupress at about the 34 yard line. And here comes Balico on the Raider offense back out onto the field. Same three back, Grew, McKinnon, and Ethan Santos. He'll go to Santos this time. Santos getting to the outside. We'll pick up a couple yards. He'll make his way to the 37 yard line. Gain of about three, second and seven. Kevin Bradley with the tackle for the Lakers. Second down, same formation. Mike, it grew in motion this time. That's who it is, and he gets the ball. Grew to the outside. Grew is almost at the first sound line. Might be short by a yard. Tackle by number seven. And Caden Sear made the tackle. Third and He'll be marked about two yards short. We should get one more playoff before the end of the third quarter. If they don't get anything too big of a pickup on this side, you won't have to march all the way down the field as we switch which way we're going for the final quarter.
15 seconds to go. Third and two. Same guys in the back. Gru motion. Gru takes it. Gru breaks a tackle. And he is gone again. Sam Gru, 10-5. Touchdown, Touchdown, Somerset Berkeley. Sam right as the Gru. third quarter ends. Gonna go for two. Formation this is. I think this is another one of those plays where you got Balico run to the right, and there he goes to the right. But he'll be taken down this time. And Good Brody. tackle there by Brody Jolie. And that's gonna be the, end, the end of the, of the third, third quarter. quarter. Again, if you like What's touchdowns, nice you must be having a great time today. To the game. 54 to 30 the score as we head right, into the final we quarter. We still have not received our 50-50 raffle winner, so I'm gonna say it slowly and you can head on to the concession stand if you win. Here we go, 50-50 raffle for $127. Number five, one, eight, five, six, eight. Five, one, eight, five, six, eight. If you have that number, please report to the concession stand with your winning ticket. Saying fix the score. That's what I thought it was. I thought they had 43, and the referee is correct. Again, if you're watching on our Blue Raiders studios or Somerset Access TV, we do thank you. Keegan Hamble alongside Darren O'Brien, Tara Peckham. Switching off camera duties today. Big shout out to everybody getting involved for this game, and it's been a big one. 79 combined points, and we haven't even started the fourth quarter yet, but on this kick, we will. Here we go. Parnaquick going right to left in the white uniforms. Somerset Berkeley going left to right, as there's a flag for a kickoff out of bounds. Ball will be marked at the 35 yard line, first and 10 for Caden Sear in the Laker offense. 2 0 on each side. Sear had a good jump from the receivers, lofting it to the sideline, and it was incomplete, just out of the reach of Ryan Ponce. Second down. Defended by number nine, Caleb Soares. Second and 10 on the Laker. Second down, Sear wobbles the snap, it was high. Sear has to make a decision quick and he'll just throw it. And are they gonna give a flag? Yes, they threw it away. Intentional grounding. There is a flag on the play. Now, 
I don't know exactly what the high school rule is for intentional grounding. It looked like from up here or on top of the press box. I thought he got out of the pocket and must either not have passed the line of scrimmage. And I think they picked up the flag, it looks like. But either way. It's going to be third down. You got one of the Somerset Berkeley coaches up here saying it should be a loss of a down. But third down and 10. Big play for Aponacourt right here. Trying to stay alive in this huge SEC matchup. Sear looking over the middle. It is dropped. Incomplete. Wide Ball open was Evan Dupris. That throw might have been behind him, but either way, Evan it's fourth Dupris. down. Fourth down for the Lakers. Timeout called by Aponiquit with 11.44 to go in the final quarter. Again, most of the fans still staying here, seeing how this one plays out. The amount of scoring we've seen. This game is far from over tonight. Sear, looking left this time, has a couple options. He needs to get rid of it, and batted down and incomplete. The intended receiver there was Ryan Pont. And Zach King there on the stop, and the Raiders will take over. Raider ball. Some motion on the line. Flag on the and play. a false start against Somerset Berkeley will back him up five yards. First down and 15 for Somerset at the 40-yard line. Santos is the motion man, that's where it goes. And Santos is gone again, maybe 10. Oh, he broke his ankles, touchdown. Touchdown, number eight, Ethan Santos. And this time they'll go for one. DeSantos five for five on extra points today. This to make it a 26 point game. 
And it and is. Right through the good. uprights and good. Nearly along that back so, fence, separating the track the quarter, from Somerset, Berkeley, the visiting section. With 30. Here comes the kick from Dos Santos. That's a good one. Handled at the 12-yard line. And breaks a couple tackles. Is Elijah Barlow. Barlow still going. Can't break that last tackle on the side from Jimmy Phoenix. They are still in as QB. And fires it to Collins here. Pass is complete to number And he'll pick up about Colin five Sear, yards on that catch. Aaron Pires with the tackle. And 25, Zach King. Second and five for the Lakers. Zach King has to be careful on defense. Sear looking for the long ball, and it is nearly Down intercepted. Brendan McDonald was right Donald. there, had two hands on it. And it'll be third down and five. Comes third and five. The visitors trying to help out their team by making noise. And the throw That's is caught by Dupris. Looks like he is short and of the first it's going to bring up fourth and about one and a half. At this point now, if you're a Pornico, you just got to go for it. Fourth and two for the Lakers. Sierra on fourth and two. Fires over the middle, and it is broken up. That was Will Santos on the deflection, and the Raiders will take over and. We, we have, have an injured on player the on the field, and a flag came in late. So this will be after the fact. Now you got everybody standing around. Will Santos got his hands up saying, is it on me? What did I do?
And it's a personal foul against Somerset Berkeley. And I believe the signal was first down to Poniquit. go first down and 10 ball marked at the 25 handoff goes to Jolie Jolie breaks one tackle Cali pushes way and I think 19. he got the first down it's gonna be very close Brody Jolie uh, headset my headset just died what a great time to die and it's gonna be second and short Gain of about nine second and one Second down, Sear. Will take it himself for the first down. Carried by seven, Caden Sear. First down for the Lakers. This is first and goal. Sear looking left. Sear launches it. And that was caught. Is he in for the touchdown? No, he's going to be about one yard short. Ball is that was Dylan Bradley. Number 20. Who was that? Elijah Barlow. Was that Barlow on the catch? Second and goal. Two out to the right. Oh, they could have had it. The Raider defense read it well. Jolie trying to get to the outside, trying to wiggle his way in for the touchdown. touchdown number 19, Brody Jolie for the Lakers. And again, upon a quit, will go for it on the two-point conversion. Sear takes it himself, reaches over, and I think he got it. He did. Just didn't see the signal right away. Good. Caden Sear in for the two-point conversion. Seven twenty-one to go in the fourth quarter. Somerset Berkeley 56, Lakers 38.
Here's Tremley. Right back to kick it off. Oh, onside try. And I don't know why Caleb Soares tried to avoid that. It doesn't matter. The Raiders pick it up. Not a bad onside try there for the Lakers. At Somerset Berkeley. We'll take the ball at their own 49-yard line to start this drive. Derek Balico still stays in that quarterback. On their own 49. Back play goes to Santos. Santos will get about four yards Santos on this run. Gain of about five, second and five. Tackle by number 50, Kevin O'Connor. Second down, six to go. 6.47 to go in the game. Raiders lead 56 to 38. Motion, man is Santos, and again he gets the ball. Santos fighting his way for another first and down. Is a first down Raiders. Lucas Tremblay with the tackle there for the Lakers. First down at the Laker 40, six minutes to go. Balico running in quick. Same three behind. Gru is the motion this time. Gru gets it. Gru pushing his way forward for about another three. By Gru. O'Connor again leading the tackle for the Lakers. Gain of a couple, second and eight. Second down. Crew got the motion this time, and we got a flag on the play. There is a flag on I the thought, play. I think this might be against Ethan Santos for the motion behind. Let's see. Caden Sear with the tackle for the Lakers. Yep, and it is an illegal Raiders. shift against Somerset Berkeley. We'll back that ball up, redo the down. It'll be second and 13 this time as the clock ticks to under five minutes to go. See who gets the motion this time. Gru got it. Balico didn't give it to him. Balico looking and nearly intercepted by the hand of Evan Dupris. That's going to be third down.
Third and long. Let's see if they just keep it on the ground here or go for the long pass. It's gonna go to Santos. Oh, this is a trickery. Ethan Santos. Oh, that was just a misfire of a throw there. I think Kevin DeSantos was the intended target. The ball was closest though to Sam Grew. And they're gonna punt the ball right back to Aponaqua. David DeSantos back out there to punt this off. And a timeout call by Somerset Berkeley before timeout they can get the snap off. And out of the timeout, the unit will go right back out there. And now you got Ethan Santos in the back. Is he going to be the one to punt this ball? It would be amazing if he does. And maybe we'll see if they'll give him a redemption chance on that last throw he had. You have DeSudo in motion. And he'll punt this away. Oh, that was a shank of a punt, and that's going to bounce right out to the 29-yard line. So Ponick went down 18, four minutes to go. Maybe a chance to get within 10 now. They get the touchdown two-point conversion. Go right back on side, but they gotta do it quick. Jolie's lined up as the running back. Again, two out to the left and right. Caden Sear. Oh, he wanted to release it quickly. Stumbles, tries to go forward, and he's gonna get sacked. A rush of Raiders going, led by Hutchings mostly. by number 71, Hayden Teasdale. Loss of one for the Lakers. Loss of two. And that throw will be to the outside. <laughs> to Dupras. Yeah, he'll pick up about three, which was the yardage lost on that last play. It'll be third down. And about nine. Under three minutes to go. Sear so still in. Jolie's still the running back. Sear looking right to the sideline. That is caught by Dupris, and he lunged forward. I think he's got enough of the first down, and they'll move the chains. He's got it, nine yard pickup to the 40 yard line. First down, ball's caught by 17, Evan Dupris. C 
Sear rolling to the left this time. Sear able to get that pass away, but it's going to fall incomplete. Intended target was Colin Sear. Two sixteen to go as the coordinators for Aponiquit to our right starting to pack up. I thought Aponiquit played a phenomenal game today, scoring thirty eight points on the road. And second down and ten. Sear will go short, and that is Ball caught to the side to Jolie. Taken down by number six, Austin DeSuto. One fifty to go. Sear on third down. Sear able to escape, avoiding the sack, and he throws to the All side again. Caught by Jupris for another first down. Short of a first down, third and one for the fourth and one for the Lakers. Ah, oh, they're saying he stepped out of bounds short of that first down. Fourth and one at the 49. Oh, long ball wide open. Catch is made. Lawler, 10 5, and another touchdown, touchdown for Aponiquit. So hold on. The game is still not over. A drive that takes 2 minutes 26 seconds to score a touchdown. And I guess they go for two. Sears got Jolie to his left as the running back. Dupris Lawler on the outside to the right, and he'll fake the pass and hand it off to Jolie, who runs it for the successful two point conversion and makes it a 10 point game. With a minute 36 to go. And now, if you're a Pornico, you got to get two successful onside kicks. You got to get a touchdown on one. Maybe you go quick short field goal if you get into that territory quickly. But a combined 102 points on the night tonight. Unbelievable. And if you're Coach Nick Freitas, I don't know what your takeaway is going to be. You happy you get 56, but you're a little mad you get, or allow 46. But you can bet for sure Aponiquit will go on side here. Whether they'll be low like the last time or a squip kick, squip kick we'll see. Tremblay will be the kicker once again. Go boys. Now let's see, nobody for the Raiders is fooling for it. Everybody's lined up at the 50. Here's the try, it's gonna pop up. They gotta make it bounce to the 50 and Soares recovers it. Great reaction play there from the sophomore to pick up that ball, and that in all likelihood will end this game. And the Raiders take over at the Laker 49.
Still got the regular formation out. We'll see if he just takes a knee. Instead, he'll pitch it back to Santos. Santos, he wants another one before the night's over. Still pushing forward, and he picks up another First 13 down, yards. Ethan Santos, I apologize. It's a long game, people. And that's the first we've heard here. An apology from the PA announcer. Sounds like what I do a lot at the college when I'm doing the announcing. You know what? There's a reason he's got a job doing that and why I don't. That's why I'm up here. One minute to go. Gru gets in the motion this time. He'll get it from Balico. Gru pushing forward, maybe gets three yards more. Through. They're gonna mark it two more or bring up second down and A. We'll see if Coach two. Freitas wants to do one more play. And 20 seconds ago, wouldn't this be something if they get a touchdown on the last play? With the way it's going, I would not be surprised. Clock takes to eight, seven, six. Let's see if they get the snap off. Everybody's in, I don't know if they're going to. Balico's gonna take a knee. That's, that's the end the of the game. game. Somerset Berkeley Somerset comes Berkeley's away with the win, 56 to 46. And they will be back Friday home in three weeks time for senior night. For everybody Thank watching the game, and for helping out Darren O'Brien, Tara Peckham. I'm Keegan Hamlet saying so long from Handsome Memorial Stadium. Have a good night.